cosmic horror of Fortnite save the world. There are two distinct games called Fortnite. The one most people are familiar with is the 100 player PvP shooter, which is Fortnite Battle Royale. But the other, Fortnite Save the World, is a better game, especially for fans of Cosmic Horror. It is a co-op hybrid, third person shooter, tower defense, horror survival video game. It is set on contemporary Earth, where the sudden appearance of a worldwide storm caused 98% of the world's population to disappear and zombie-like creatures emerge out of the storm to attack the survivors. The designer, Epic Games, builds it as a cross between Minecraft and Left 4 Dead. I started playing this game because I got tired of being sniped by a bunch of 10-year-olds while looking around in the great settings. Save the World is even better for that. I love exploring the empty houses and buildings in a destructible, near-apocalyptic environment. It has a very I Am Legend feel as you run around the vacant cities and suburbs by yourself. You have to go on missions to launch satellites and laser defense systems to prevent against the storm and research what is happening to the planet. You build forts to protect these devices and use traps and weapons to eliminate the swarming hordes. The undead creatures are called husks and they appear in patrol groups emerging from portals of swirling storm clouds, crossing the map, then leaving our world through similar storm portals. They have these big creatures called smashers which behave a lot like chargers from Left 4 Dead, but they also smash through your fort defenses. But it is apparent that their skin design is very much that of Lovecraft's Shoggoths. As he described them in At the Mountains of Madness, it was a terrible, indescribable thing vaster than any subway train, a shapeless conigeris of protoplasmic bubbles, faintly self-luminous, and with myriads of temporary eyes forming and unforming as pustules of greenish light. The greatest mission I played had a massive layer of fog roll in as the sun went down. You could only see silhouettes in the distance. Shapes in the gloom of the approaching bloodthirsty horde. As they came closer, their eyes began to glow with an eerie yellow brilliance. Then, they would pounce out of darkness and attack. My heart was pounding and I was sweating from a battle barely won. And there are several other elements of horror as well. One of the most memorable ones is when you are wandering through the lush green grasslands and come across a large tree by a beautiful waterfall, then you see the empty wheelchair at the cliff's edge. Another, when I busted through the roof of a house in the attic space above the garage what a set, was a set of bunk beds and a teddy bear. My young daughter remarked, wow, what terrible parents. They locked their kids away in the attic. And it's that bizarre, voyeuristic element of going through people's homes, destroying their possessions that so you can gather materials to make weapons, that the lives they lived are now meaningless. The husks are a bit cartoonish and look a bit like the animated version of the Crypt Keeper, but that is an intentional change Epic Games made because the original skins were a bit too scary looking, and they didn't want to be age restrictive. But with the amount of six-year-olds playing Grand Theft Auto nowadays, I don't think they would have had a problem. And every two to three months, they have separate quest lines that advance the story of the heroes and survivors. These also have cosmic elements, one with a sentient cube from space, a few others where a resident meets his future son, but they proceed to break reality and end up accidentally erasing their current timeline, as well as meeting versions of themselves from other realities. And there was some implied necrophilia when one of the heroes fell in love with a husk. Ew. But the storyline is well written, with characters that you care about, and this keeps your interest in the game when the level grinding gets to be too much. If you need one more Lovecraftian element, this game is brutal. It has no mercy. If you are stuck playing in a public lobby with a bunch of idiots, you will suffer defeat after defeat. It will kill you. Even after you get a good handle on the game and develop a winning playing style, it is still a challenge. So I would definitely recommend this game for Cosmic Horror fans. Cthulhu Photography.